Infamous Tampa Bay serial killer Bobby Joe Long is now dead. Long was put to death at Florida State Prison this evening at 6.55 p.m. by lethal injection. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan witnessed that execution. He is joining us now live from outside the prison in Rayford. And Evan, well, this was a long time coming for the victims. It sure was, Keith. 35 years after terrorizing Tampa Bay, murdering 10 women, at least raping dozens more, Bobby Joe Long is now dead. But this story isn't about him. It's about the victims who survived and the loved ones left behind. I've had and I continue to have a joyful life. Linda Nuttall has been through more than most people can imagine. Nine months after her vicious attack by the classified ad rapist, she and her husband Kevin lost their daughter from a terrible illness. She didn't even know her rapist was a killer until months later when he got caught. It was just mind-boggling and I just felt lucky that I survived his attack. Linda was one of 26 witnesses who watched as Bobby Joe Long took his last breath, responding only with a soft no when asked if he had any final words, a calm ending to a violent life. If I could have had my way, he would have been yeah. executed for every person life he took. It was too easy. He was too comfortable. This was all about her today and the other victims. Vicki deserved justice, and this was justice. Bobby Joe Long, thank you. Lisa McVeigh Nolan, sexually abused throughout her childhood, wrote a suicide note the night before Long abducted and raped her for 26 hours. She survived and helped end his killing spree. Thank you for choosing me instead of another 17-year-old little girl. The reason why I say thank you now is because I have forgiven you for what you have done to me. The night a killer died, victims chose to celebrate life. This will not define me. I am a survivor. I, it just comes from within. I'm a joyful person, I'm a happy person, and I wasn't about to let this get me. Long's body was taken by hearse to a nearby town. Several victims telling us, Keith, tonight they will finally sleep soundly. And again, Evan, you were in that tiny room tonight with the victims. We heard Lisa Nolan describe a feeling of relief after seeing Long take his last breath. Was that a shared reaction from your perspective? I mean, describe, if you can, those final moments. Did anyone speak? Were there tears, sadness, anger in that room? It, it was intense, Keith. No sounds at all. Some barely audible whimpering. The whir of the air conditioner in the corner, really the only sound you could hear some of the victims' families passing tissues to each other, and very little movement from Long, everyone watching intently. It was professional, clinical, and ultimately, however you feel about the death penalty, successful. And no final words from Long himself. Evan Donovan reporting live tonight in Rayford. Thank you.